so happy for A four-year-old Somali girl trapped in Uganda for days, now reunited with her mother. I say thank you how to support me. Thank you so much. A Yemeni man reunited with his father after having his visa cancelled only days earlier by immigration officials. U.S. President Donald Trump's executive order blocked their entry for 90 days as he called for extreme vetting to be put in place from seven Muslim-majority countries. That order was overturned because of a case brought by a Sudanese doctor working at the prestigious Cleveland Clinic, Dr. Suha Abu Sharma, who was stranded in Saudi Arabia. Sudanese doctors gain expertise at leading U.S. medical facilities and then pass that along to hundreds of other doctors and nurses in Sudan, organized with the Sudanese American Medical Association. Your programs literally are saving the lives of many, many vulnerable people. Yes, yes. Well, we are training the health workers to save the lives of the people. And we're providing them with uh, consumables, devices, equipment that they need. Dr. Gadala Nala lives in Virginia. She was coordinating new projects in Sudan and didn't know whether her green card would allow her back home. Personally, it was really, really um, hard for me because I left my children here and they knew that I was coming back on Sunday. It was really stressful, not just for me, but for my small family and extended family. In this case, Dr. Gadala's husband, Ali, their son, Mohammed, and their daughter, Judy, were reunited but many other immigrant families from the seven impacted countries have not been so lucky and remain oceans apart. Though some travelers rushed in, others held back on booking flights for fear of only a temporary reprieve. The Trump administration is fighting the case, which legal experts say may go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Daniel Wrenches, CGTN, Virginia.